Hello everyone, I'm George from Ireland. So here I am in London, in the uh, Kensington area, Earsby Street, and behind me you'll see the house where um, Sir Joseph Lyons lived. Presumably this was the door. I'm not sure which flat he lived in, but he was a very wealthy man towards the end of his life. So uh, Sir Joseph Lyons is better, best known for setting up um, Lyons Corner House, the pioneer of mass catering. You can often cook for a group of 10 at home. What do you have to group, group cook for a group of a hundred or a thousand. How do you do that? You know, not restaurants all doing individual dishes, but everyone having the same dish at the same time. I don't know how he managed it. But anyway, he started that. The Lion's Corner House was a very um, a popular um, tea house, I suppose I could say, not quite cafe, because people weren't that much into coffee in the 19th century when he started it, but also serving meals. Um, it would be several stories high. So being on the corner of the street was the idea to, cat to, get, to get the business from two streets. That would be your catchment area. Um, so they were all over Ireland and Great Britain in the early 20th century. Um, there was one just off Leicester Square and uh, some of them were open 24 hours because the 24 hour economy was just beginning. Um, people are taking a train very late at night or arriving off a train very late at night, that being when train travel is much more important than today because virtually nobody had a car and um, um, passenger planes just didn't exist. Um, or nurses coming on and off duty, police on and off duty in the wee hours, people like that who had to work um, through the night. It was catered to them. Uh, but uh, waifs and strays and vagabonds would, 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 would show up there. Bruce Reynolds famously said when he absconded from the army in 1949, he got back to London, uh, uh, deserting in the middle of the night, following a railway line. Of course, no, there was no electric trains back then, no, no third rail to electrocute yourself, so there were no barriers. You could just walk onto the railway line, no, no fence to stop you. It's going somewhere, we figured out which direction London was. No trains between midnight and 5 a.m. and walk back to London. Well, that's his story. But went straight to Lyons Corner House on Leicester Square. I, I found the actual site of it, but, um, and, and was there. He said, on reflection, it wasn't the smartest move because the police regularly came in and swept up all comers and say, right, boy, what's your name? Where are you from? What's your address? What's your job? What are you doing here? And eventually got the truth out of him. So he's back in the army. But back to um, uh, Sir Joseph. Uh, so then he died in 1917 and he'd put his um, Lyons Corner House, a business at the disposal of the armed forces for the, for the First World War. And the business carried on to the 60s and then it went bust. I'm not quite sure why. Um, been superseded by supermarkets, I suppose. It was food to eat there on the spot. Snacks, even full meals. So I'm not sure how his business model just didn't keep pace with the developing economy. That is enough about Sir Joseph Lyons. Toodaloo.